we're going to talk about uh, jumping. Uh, jumping for us is uh, taught uh, as a pattern first. It's predicated on you having uh, taught touch pads. Um, we can do some of the jumping pattern with uh, touch pads while they're still elevated with a puppy. So it, you don't have to have faded them all the way to flat. But most of, we're not really jumping at that stage. We're teaching the jump pattern, right? So with our puppies or our young dogs, our inexperienced dogs, we're, we have the elevated touch pad. And we're teaching the dog to run over and put their feet on it. And then we'll put two of them out. And we'll have the dog run back and forth between the two. And then once I can send the dog back and forth between the two, I'll put up a jump between. So we would put up a jump like this. That's basically a jump, but not a jump, right? It would just have a crossbar or even nothing, just two uprights. And I would put it between the two pads, and we'd have the dog run back and forth between the two. Right? So they're actually doing, repeatedly, the pattern of the jump. They go between the uprights, they go to the other target, they hit it, I go reward them. They go between the uprights, they go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Right? And the more reps we have on this before we start jumping, uh, the more durable that behavior is going to be when the dog starts making mistakes.